everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to update any graphics card on your Windows 10 or 11 computer. So the first thing we want to do is go down to search and type in device manager and then open up this control panel right here. And once we have this opened up, let's scroll on down under this menu until we get to display adapter right here. And we can see by two different graphics cards, we got Intel UHD graphics, and then we got the uh, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 laptop GPU right here. So I can just right click on it and then go to update driver. And I can search automatically for drivers right here. And it looks like I have the best drivers available just through the updates on here. So once I get the name of the graphics card, I can simply just search for it in Google search. Another thing that we can do to get the name is go down to search and type in task manager and then go on over to performance and we can see the GPU one listed right here and this is the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050. So go ahead and just type that in and then there's going to be online software that we can download specifically for that GPU. So uh, let's type in NVIDIA RTX 3050 laptop gpu and press enter and it's going to bring you to the nvidia so you might have like an amd or an intel um, gpu just go to their respective software and get that so you can just type it in here uh, you got all the product versions and the series so once you get that i have nvidia on my computer already so i can just open this up nvidia i want the geforce experience app so once this opens up it's going to have um, some software for me to download for my graphics card and it will be up to date once I do that. And it's going to give me some recommendations for the games as well. So what's logged in here, we have access to our games and then we got the drivers listed right here. And we can also check for updates. So just come back to this section every once in a while and there should be something for you to download under here. And it's going to go ahead and start downloading. It looks like it's 674 megabytes. So this is going to take a while to download. Hopefully this video did indeed help you guys out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on Your 6 Tech.